Yo everyone, I have got a super exciting video for you guys today. I built my own streaming desk from scratch. That's right, this entire video is going to be the process. In the description below, I'll have links to all the stuff I bought off Amazon, as well as the things I didn't get off the internet, how I got those, where I got them, as well as the price for all of these items. This video, I'm looking to help out people who are interested in building their own workspace. You know, the desks that you buy online or the ones that you look at online, just don't cut it. The weird L shapes, the really small workspace with the lifted area for the monitors, when you build a desk the way I did, you'll be able to put things where you want and how you want them. Now before I get too far into this video, I want to make a disclaimer that this is not an easy build. This will take you some time. This desk is heavy. You might need another person to help you out. So I need you to understand that this isn't a fly by night or get it done in two hours kind of thing. This requires paint. This requires patience, this requires a lot of materials and a couple of trips to the store. So hang with me for the whole video while you guys check it all out. I'll be sure to mention all the stuff I'm doing as I'm doing it. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I'll try to address them as quickly as possible to help you guys with your future desk builds. Now, as you can see from the beginning of the video, my primary desktop is going to be a school door. This was a 82, 84 inch long solid wood school door. This thing weighed almost 300 pounds. It's very heavy. It's sturdy. I needed something stable to put all my stuff on and this was perfect. So I got the door from our local hardware store. It was only $100. They recycle hardware goods. We grabbed it, brought it back cut off 12 inches from the door a whole foot we used the power saw then we sanded it down after sanding it i got it up the next day got it ready to prime my mistake was using a spray prime can i thought it was going to be easier it wasn't i should have bought primer in a can and just painted it on that would have been a lot easier As far as the paint goes, that's entirely up to you, but make sure you pick either water or oil based and stick with the type that you choose. As you put the paint into your cup or whatever you're pouring with, make sure to add water as you're pouring. If you don't, it'll be too thick and when you go to pour it out onto your desk, it won't move, it'll just sit still. Now, since this was my first time ever doing this art style and with it being something so big, I wanted to be careful and I thought about how I was going to do this. I broke the desk down into four segments working from the bottom side to the top, as you see in the video, and I put it on an angle so that when I poured the paint, it would run down the angle. So I started at the bottom quadrant and poured, and then I moved up to the next quadrant and poured, and so on and so forth. I did use a hair dryer. I really didn't need to. If I would have used enough water, it would have been okay. But the hair dryer is good for those really thick, clumpy spots that didn't get enough water that you need to push around.
Once your desk is completely painted and dried, make sure you go get some polyurethane. Pick a type that is water or oil based, the same type as the paint you picked. Make sure to spread thin this layer of polyurethane. You're gonna wanna give it possibly two to three coats, but let it dry for about an hour or so in between to make sure that it fully sets. If you leave it too thick, your paint might crack, or if you use a different base type, that means water or oil, then the paint you use, you will crack the paint. As for the hardware, I have two sets of risers, three different legs, a drawer for one side to be a stand, as well as a mini fridge for the other, but I won't get down into the specifics of how my measurements went. It's just very important that you plan everything out on paper in measurements, so that way when you put it all together, it comes together. You don't wanna be off a couple inches here or a, almost a foot there. It's very important that you measure everything before putting it on the desk. And that winds down the desk build for me, guys. Enjoy the rest of me putting it together, but you're gonna see some shots of the desk finally finished with some nice color behind it. If you guys have any questions on any of the process at all, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed what you just learned today. And if y'all do end up building your own, please check out my header. I have my Twitter in there as well. Send me some pictures of your build yourself. I'd love to see it. I like pulling ideas from other people and I love seeing people thriving from the stuff that I'm putting out there for them. So I really appreciate that. Per usual, please consider dropping a like as well as subscribing to the channel if y'all are new. There's lots of content on my page to fit all kinds of walks of life. Gaming, IRL, drones, photography. Check it out. See if you find something that you like and let me know. I'll catch you guys next time.